is going on everyone my name is Dan and in today's video we're going to take a look at this LG Shine and it's actually one of the phones that I made before this is not the exact one but it's the same color and uh, yeah I thought it was nice to make a little video on this and share my experience from back then and uh, take a closer look at this device so the LG Shine this is a KE970 which is a unbranded model uh, was released in 2007, January 2007 to be precise. It was about 70 bucks. It was a pretty nice phone, I mean it's, it obviously looks really good. Pretty sleek design honestly and um, I like the metal finish that it has so it's plastic and metal. Uh, this is the titanium black. Let's go ahead and take a look behind the battery door. We got some notice here. It uh, basically tells us that we need to turn the phone off before inserting or removing the SIM card. Uh, we got the battery right here behind the battery door, which is a 750 milliamp hour battery. Well, this is a 800 milliamp hour battery. Actually, this is from the LG Secret, so that's the difference, I guess. But with the standard battery, it has 280 hours of standby time and 3 hours of talk time. It's not that much, honestly, 3 hours of talk time, but that standby is incredible. It takes a regular mini sim as you can see this one is locked to t-mobile and yeah that's why there is a t-mobile sim in there and of course it has an sd card slot we got the camera here too it's actually a pretty big fitment for uh, for its time since 2007 um, it has a mirror and a flash it's a 2 megapixel Schneider Kreuznach lens. It actually does make nice pictures. I took some nice pictures back then. I don't think that that has uh, aged well this camera sensor because it obviously has a really low megapixel but it's still a pretty good sensor for its time now let's go ahead and take a look at the dimensions of the phone we have 99.8 by 50.6 by 13.8 millimeters or 3.39 inches by 1.99 by 0.54 inches you know, it weighs 190 grams or 4.20 ounces nice and um yeah, it's kind of heavy for, uh, I mean, yeah, it's pretty heavy. It's uh, because, of course, this phone is made out of metal and it's pretty nice. So when we take a look around the phone, we can find a microphone right here on the front of the plastic chin. When we slide it up, we reveal the T9 keypad. Over here, we have the accept and return keys. We have a scroll wheel which only goes up and down and it's also inverted and it's also a confirmation button the 2.2 inch display with a mirror filter or like it's a mirror display we also find an earpiece speaker over here above the LG logo well unfortunately this phone has cracks I'm not really sure how that happened but I got it like that the bezel is also made out of metal the middle of the device is made out of plastic we find a dedicated button to release the back cover. Here is the multifunctional proprietary LG USB port. I'll just call it that. You can charge and plug in an adapter for your headphones or charge it or use it to connect to your computer. We find volume buttons, a dedicated multimedia slash MP3 button and a dedicated camera button. Also worth noting, the LG Shine was part of the Black Label series. So the display here is a 240 by 320 pixels 2.2 inch display with a 182 ppi. It has a TFT panel that has 256,000 colors. And as you can see, it has a mirror for a screen. So you can, see, well, yeah, I'm behind the camera. You can kind of see me here, hello. And it's, uh, as you can see, this is a real mirror. Compare this to like the LG Secret for a second. You can clearly tell that, uh, of course, it's more bright on here and Honestly, we'll talk about that when the phone is on because I uh, actually didn't experience this mirror screen as something positive Now let's go ahead and boot the phone up
here's the phone and as you can see we can just see the screen perfectly fine I actually refurbished this phone so far so good now the scroll wheel at least works the way it should um, yeah it has a scroll wheel instead of a regular d-pad so basically you gotta do everything by this or you can select whatever you need with a t9 keyboard so yeah in general it is uh, a big throwback for me having one of these phones in my hand right now working and uh, yeah it's a really nice device honestly it's pretty stylish it does have a couple features as well as you can see we have a web browser, it has texts, MMS when it was still available, it has email, it has Bluetooth and it has an MP3 slash MP4 player and Java MIDP 2.0, it has an organizer as well, predictive text input, voice memo and a document viewer. So it does come with a couple of things of course, so that's uh, over here we got an alarm clock, we got a calendar. We got T zones, which is like T Mobile zones, a calculator, memo memos, a stopwatch, and it has a conversion program plus world time. And we got the same services, of course. And I guess that's about it with like the, the special stuff on this phone. I'm not really sure if there are any games on here, maybe in T zones. I'm pretty sure it might be in media somewhere since this is the internet browser itself. I do want to take a look at the camera of the device real quick, so here we go. Um, you can see that the refresh rate here is kind of slow. I don't think that the quality is half bad. I'm gonna take a picture real quick. I took a picture here of my Xbox. Well, you, up, you really cannot compare this to modern standards but for its time in 2007 this was a pretty good camera so if we go to my media there should be some games we got bubble ball and fish well we don't really have to look into that what is really cool about the phone however is the fact that this thing has a sliding sound effect that you can select from in the settings right here when we go to screen when we go to profiles and we go to personalize we can actually change the sound that the slider makes this is what I got now well uh, I didn't necessarily wanted to uh, close the application here but uh, that's what happens but you can select different sliding tones so Yeah, that's about it, so um, pretty cool. Now the mirror screen is actually a cool gimmick, but when you're in sunlight, this thing is incredibly inconvenient. So we got the sun out. As you can see, it's really hard to see what's going on. This should be settings. This place already at its brightest level. I can only put it down. But it's really hard to tell what actually is going on. I can see myself, but I don't don't really see what's going on here. And uh, yeah, that was one of the reasons why I didn't really like to use this phone as much. Because yeah, as you can see, in daylight, the screen is useless. My experience though is that this phone is very durable. I once got ran over by a cyclist when I was just checking my phone. Uh, long time ago and this thing went flying and it just bounced like uh, over the concrete and the battery flew out and the back cover flew out and basically I had more pain than the phone the phone was in a decent good condition actually after that got a couple nicks I traded it in on my LG cookie back uh, then I'm pretty sure I got some videos on those phones as well so check out the information tab if you want to watch those and uh, yeah but in general, it was a really reliable phone. I really thought it looked cool. With that being said, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to leave a like, leave a comment. And if you're new to my channel and don't want to miss out on any new content in the future, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching this video and see you all later. Peace out. <laughs>